MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So we got the UMC 750 here, Pat. I'm gonna buy a five axis machine, or at least I'm putting myself in the position of an engineer. I wanna explore this machine in more detail and find out whether it should be this machine I buy. Tell me about the UMC 750. Well, this is the latest development from Haas in the five axis field. It's based upon the trunnion, the existing trunnion a principle that Haas has, has uh, run with for a number of years. So it's um, using existing componentry, so a lot of already pre-existing technology, so there's no concern about uh, things that are not proven. But um, based upon that, we'll open the door and we'll have a look. Exactly, let's do that. Let's look at the trunnion. Let's look at that. So we talk about existing componentry. This is a trunnion, is what uh, a trunnion that you may have before put onto a three-axis machining centre? This is larger than the existing trunnion setups, and it's uh, paralleled along the uh, axis in the other direction to what the existing machines would be. Existing machines would have the axis of the trunnion along the x-axis. This one is sitting across the y-axis. It's mounted on an HRT 450 rotary table at the back, supported at the front by an outboard support. In the middle is the HRT 1 310, sorry, 310, that's in, in the middle of the table. The table itself is not square and it's not round. It's 600 millimetres across one side or the other and it's 500 millimetres across the two flats. It has continuous rotation of the centre section and it'll go plus 110 degrees up to minus 35 degrees the other way. Of course, that's no restriction because if you want it to go up further in that direction, you simply rotate the middle axes. So by having uh, existing technology incorporated onto this new machine, do you think that that gives you uh, an advantage over maybe some other machinery? The advantage is that we already are very, very familiar with the existing technology. From Haas's point of view to develop the machine, they didn't have to develop new parts for everything. They simply arranged them in a different manner. They've got a, a double column construction to this machine. You can't see it, it's behind the covers. But at each end of where the ram sits is a leg and the leg is supporting the overarm that comes in and out. That's, um, above that is, the, is the, uh, the, spindle, the spindle motor and the spindle assembly from an existing super speed machine, the trusty VF3, VF4 SS. So I'm getting the picture that although this is a new model, it's, it's using the componentry and the technology already incorporated into your other machine tools. What about the software and the control? Because obviously that has to be new and developed. The software is where it's a complete departure. It's using the principles that were developed in the Trunnion system, but it has now two new, quite unique features. One is called TCPC, that's Tool Center Point Control, and the other is called Dynamic Work Offset Shifting. What it means is that the component, as you see it on the table now, is arranged in the middle of the table. If we needed to set that job up again, or on another machine, we don't have to put it back in the middle of the table as we would have done in the Trunnion we can offset it. The TCPC and the dynamic work offsetting allows us to move that part around the table but use the same program. If we were to do that on a trunnion, we would have to rejig and re-output commands from the program. What I'm hearing here is something very similar to what is known as cycle 19 on, a, on another control system. Would that be correct? Yes, it's uh, doing the same kind of thing as cycle 19. Everybody has a, a name. Um, an industry name for what they're, they're doing. Yeah. Uh, tool center point control does, I think, more accurately control what we're doing with it than cycle 19. Okay, now what about, um, let's talk about the spindle and the tool changes. Uh, what, what, what options have we got in that area? Well, we have two models. We have a standard UMC 750 and we have a UMC 750 SS. The standard machine comes as an 8,100 RPM spindle as, as basic. It has an option of a 12,000 RPM spindle for this fitment. The super speed machine is a model on its own and is a 15,000 RPM spindle. But the similarities are that the spindle motor and the spindle are already used within other parts of the Haas range. Okay, so again, bringing in technology, existing technology that's been developed and is proven yes. onto the UMC yes. machine. 
All right, on the tool changer, how many tools can we fit on this machine? There are 40 tools in the carousel, and there's one tool in the spindle. So that gives you 40 plus one, that's 41. Okay, all right, and then on the capacity, we've touched on the table and the, and the mechanism uh, and, and how the trunnion table operates, but what about the type of part or the size of part that it can fit? Well, you can see the size of the table that's already installed on the machine, 600 by 500. The machine has an x-axis capacity of 762 and 508 in the y-axis. So as long as the component can swing round within the confines, as you can see here, here's the outboard support, here's the back that drives the trunnion, then you pretty much can fill that tank. So height-wise, then you have a, a slight consideration of how high can I put it underneath the spindle and get a sensible length tool in it. So you've got easily a 500mm diameter part that's on that table. So it's not a small five-axis machine, although it's in quite a small footprint. It's not a small capacity, and one of the reasons it's not is that the way it's packaged, it's packaged with those existing components already have a big capacity. It can take 300 kilograms on the table, so it's not lightweight. It's not going to be restricted to aluminium. It can cut steel and other heavy-duty materials as well. And, and how big is this for Haas in the UK? You are uh, sell hundreds of machine tools a year, three-axis machines, turning centres. Is this a new market for you, or is this going to erode into your existing market? I don't see it eroding our existing market to any great degree, but it certainly does appeal to existing Haas users, particularly a Haas user who has the desire to get into five-axis work. Now, to qualify, what do we mean by five-axis work? There are two types. There is the three plus two, and there's the simultaneous five-axis. Three plus two means that you can locate a component on the table and clamp it once. You can tip it up, you can rotate it, so you can get to all sides of it and you can get to the top of it. If you locate it on a piece of sacrificial material, you grip on that, you finish the component in one go and then you chop the piece that you gripped on off, leaving you with one finished component. But if you want to go into five axis simultaneous work, the machine is already equipped to be able to do that. That comes as standard within the package. So when we talk about a five axis machine, we are talking five axis, whether it be three plus two or full five axis. Now there is a lot of competition in the five axis market, and let's say I am looking to buy a machine. Why would I be interested in the UMC 750? And what, what would potentially make me actually go for the machine? Well, if you were an existing Haas user, you'd automatically be able to work your way around the control system because the control system works in exactly the same way as what you would be familiar with. That would make your learning curve to use the machine much shorter and much quicker. If you were not a Haas user, you were new to it, then you would see that operating a Haas control system is very intuitive. It's much more intuitive than some of the more widely available control systems that require several button pushes to get you to where you need to go on the menu. So this has been developed by people that use the control in the factory to make machines that they make their machines on. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.